Welcome to Editorial Board Interviews. Circuit Judge, 10th Circuit, Group 19, One Tough Question. I'm Glenn Marston, Editorial Page Editor for The Ledger in Lakeland, Florida. These interviews were recorded August 11th, 2008. With us are candidates John Radabaugh and Nathaniel White. Their race is on the August 26th primary election ballot. Here is one tough question for John Radabaugh. Uh, Mr. Radabaugh, what has been the most difficult decision by a circuit judge you've seen or observed? And what, it, what would there have been a better solution or outcome? Well, the most difficult uh, decision I guess I've seen is uh, in uh, juvenile, uh, actually dependency court, uh, where uh, the issue of whether or not a child should stay with a particular family uh, is warranted or not. Termination of parental rights is the ultimate uh, uh, decision that would occur in those such uh, those cases. And uh, the children were returned to the parents. I thought that uh, perhaps that uh, that was not the appropriate uh, way to go with it. Uh, I was not serving as counsel on either side. I was a guardian ad litem in the case, and I was concerned about the safety of the children returning to the household as it was. Um, there was a parent who was in uh, uh, legal problems, uh, multiple legal problems, and uh, a mother that was not necessarily uh, staying on top of uh, the home front in light of those uh, problems from the spouse. So I think that, uh, I don't know whether that was a, a uh, failure of the system, that the evidence didn't get in front of the judge uh, from the DCF standpoint, or uh, just a, uh, not enough material in front of the judge to, uh, to address the problem as it should have been uh, handled. But I can't really fault the judge because the judge is left with whatever evidence is brought before them. Here is one tough question for Nathaniel White. Mr. White, what has been the most difficult decision by a circuit judge you've seen and would there have been a better solution? That's a difficult question to answer because uh, as a circuit judge they have difficult decisions to make in every, every day uh, in a wide variety of cases. Uh, as you may know, uh, circuit judges uh, hear all of the uh, more serious criminal cases. They also deal with all of the family court issues. There's difficult decisions that need to be made in the juvenile court. Uh, which my opponent has just mentioned, uh, dealing, especially dealing with termination of parental rights and um, a finding of a dependency in the case and whether or not a uh, child should be returned to a home. Uh, a lot of times in those cases, not to minimize the uh, difficulty of them, the, uh, the, the TPR and the dependency cases, oftentimes the evidence is uh, pretty clear uh, and I think in most of those cases, it's, uh, I think, pretty apparent what needs to happen in that given case. Uh, so far as the difficult decision may not be as uh, life-changing uh, as some of the other decisions a circuit judge may make, but I think uh, one of the hardest ones is what, uh, how a judge rules in a child custody case where you have uh, two very good parents whose uh, marriage has failed uh, and they are fighting over the primary custody of one or more of their children. And uh, I think that is extremely hard uh, for the court to make the uh, final decision in that when you, as I said, have two very qualified, loving parents. And, uh, but you have to make a call because the kids can't live uh, two places at once.